all American career, man. Let me, I'm going to ask you 10, I call this the Hoosier 10. I'm going to ask you 10 questions that only a Hoosier basketball players can answer. Okay. So the first question is going to be, in your four years from freshman to senior year, what dorm or apartment complexes did you live in from freshman to senior year? Teeter. <laughs> <Proud Peter. laughs> yeah. Teeter freshman year. Oh, uh -huh. man. Sophomore year, the Grove, was the Grove. it was uh -huh. over behind the Target, if it's still there. Yeah. And then the rest of the years, I think it was Hoosier Heights. Hoosier Heights, Grove and Hoosier Heights. They, they love hearing them, them shout outs. Yeah. Man. So shout out to all of them. Uh, favorite restaurant to eat in when you was in Bloomington? Scotty's. Scotty's? That's the first time I heard that. It's been Buffalo. It's been Zagreb's. It's been Nick's. Then Scotty's. Where's Scotty's at? I don't think I've ever eaten it. Scotty's is on, it's, it's kind of across from the Hilton, like on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I, I just to got go the rest of Scotty's gone now. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I know I never heard of that. I'm like Scotty. Yeah, man. Yeah. I used to go to Scotty's all the time. See, Nick's. I wasn't. I wasn't. Tw I was. Tw I was 20. I was young. Uh -huh. Even my last year, I was. I could. They wouldn't. Let, they wouldn't really let me in. So. All right. Yeah, yeah. Until yeah. until after I left. Um, but yeah, we gotta, wait, we gotta wait till statutes of limitations go up where you can. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know you went in there a couple times. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I can yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, when, when the last time you've been to Bloomington? Oh, man. It's hey. been a minute. Oh, it's been a minute. Gotta get you I back. need to get back, man. I need to see my man Tim go. Uh, um, it. How long? It's, it's probably been four years since four I've been. Four years? Back. Okay. Mm -hmm. That ain't too bad. It's not too bad, yeah. Four or five years. What what player in college gave you the hardest time to guard individually? Probably a guy named Terrence Dows. If you I remember, remember that name. Old from, State? From uh, Old State. Yeah. Man, I'm a I'm a freshman, yeah. I'm a buck twenty. <laughs> I'm and he just huge. I I couldn't guard him. He put mm -hmm. me in the post and did what he wanted. Um he was very tough for me. Wow. That's um, a name. So, yeah, so I'll say him off the top. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, toughest place to play, you remember? Michigan State was tough. Michigan State, yeah, but that's consistent. I mean, most from the 70s say Michigan State. Yeah. Like, I don't know West what it is about that place, man. And Wisconsin. And Wisconsin. I, I told me, uh, Yogi Ferrell, I, I made him remember that. I was like, no. Nah. He was naming all these other places. I said the most toughest places was Wisconsin. The reason is because it's always freezing cold when you go there, mm -hmm. and it's boring as hell. Like, it it really almost, is. <laughs> like ain't no music, ain't no. You know, it's just you just blah. And then they bore your hell out of you playing. So right. it's like man, you got back, the, the back door cuts and yeah. all that. Yeah, you take like your own in way. up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, did you win at Purdue? Yeah, did I? I? Yes, I did. I did. Okay. I did. Good, good. I did. I, I lost once to Purdue. Okay. Yeah, I lost once. My most memorable Mike Davis moment. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I can say it on here, but just uh, his his locker room uh, <laughs> speeches. I just say that. It's like, I can. I never forget his locker room speeches after loss. That's After that's losses, I'm gonna give you a chance to think. Of, we'll talk. We'll think of one. Talk about it later. I ain't gonna put you on the spot on that. But okay. I know, <laughs> I know Mike, and I know it's a few of them. Um, <laughs> who, if you look at Indiana basketball history and in, in the position you play, four-ish, five-ish, who you, who would you say are the, the, the other top four players at your position that played at IU? In your opinion, is Calvin Chaney a four or three? And I say he was a three. Yeah. Okay. Jerry Jeffries. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kirk Hastings, yeah, Brian Evans, mm -hmm. and uh, Scott May. Scott May, damn, is that a good? That's a good four, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah, that's a hell of a four. What you mean? I mean, can't go wrong. Would, obviously, yeah, you can't go only, wrong. Only person I would probably throw in there or give you an idea of Alan Henderson. You probably never really uh, I forgot about Alan Henderson. Play um, Ray Tober from the eighties. 
he was a four. He went to the league and all that. But that's before. That's why it's yours because yeah. you know it's what you what you identify with. I um, totally forgot about Allen. I know Allen, man. I know Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah Allen was a beast, know. man. He was a beast. Favorite IU player, past or present, that you just like to watch? Um, probably Jared. 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 Jared was a big. Jared was a big reason. Honestly, I came. Yeah, mm -hmm, just watching him. I had a chance to talk to him. He talked to me. You know, I love Jared's game. Um, so Jared, Jared, I can say Jared was a big reason I, I wanted to put on that jersey. That's what's up. And one last question: What one teammate do you, you miss playing with the most at IU, and why? <laughs> Eric Sewell. <laughs> All right. Eric Sewell. Yeah. I love Sewell, man. He's just a great, funny guy. He yeah. always kept the mood light. Yeah. Right. Work hard, man. Just a cool guy. So I, I miss being around him. Absolutely. You need an Eric on your team, man. And that that concludes the Hoosier team, man. He did a great job at it.